my goal for this year for t what the hell noise was that what the hell i'm gonna have to wreck some face somebody trying to break down my doors thumping at my door like the loudest moron on the planet oh he's dead that's his meat and sadly though the creeper he ain't dead get wrecked get destroyed Get obliterated. What is going on, guys? Unite the Clans here, back in your life with another episode of Building with UTC. I am Unite the Clans, and we're definitely going to be doing some building today. Uh, I climbed up here. My Elytra, it's like on the verge of breaking. I think I have one more flight in it, but we'll find out in a sec. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to plummet to the ground any second here. And we're gliding up to our tree. Yes. Oh, yeah. There you go. It broke. Okay, good. Can, maybe I can repair. That's cool. Okay. Neat. Uh, that's neat. All right. Sounds good. This is our big tree. And over the last couple episodes, guys, we have been working on this. And it is atop a hollowed out hill that is going to be the sort of religious spiritual center of Hollow Grove, which is this underground village. Get away from me, you tiny bastard. Get wrecked! Get wrecked! I can't be out here at night. This is a this is a fool's errand. Okay, get smashed! How are you still alive, idiot? There you go. All right, I'm not messing with a creeper. See all y'all later. Uh, yes, it is the <laughs> Hollow Grove is the underground village I've been working on, and yes, we'll let this chicken go. Why don't you lure that creeper into a trap? And this is the interior, and I can tell you, I've been doing some work. Uh, I left you last episode seeing we'd work on this together, but the inspiration struck me and I really wanted to get started. The idea, guys, is for this to be the spiritual center of the people of the village we're building. And they are nature worshippers. They uh, live in the forest, live under the forest, and they built their church under the biggest tree in the land. And I thought this church, whatever it is, needs to be a temple of nature, a, a holy botanical garden. And we're going to build an altar in the roots. In fact, I've already been doing some work. I don't know what you think. It's supposed to be a tree. Does it look like a big tree? You tell me. <laughs> anyway, we're, we're working on it. Uh, and I have all these little areas off to the sides of these raised paths that we need to decorate and deck out. But first, I'll give you a little tour of what we got going on, first of all. Oh, I left them all behind. I've been just, anytime I have extra eggs now, I just toss them in here. Just toss them in here. We'll have chickens running free, running wild. I'm going to mess up some crops here. Oh, no, good. I didn't. Don't mess up any crops. There you go. So this spot, I've chosen to build up a little bit of wheat. And um, I've got a little hidden stash for all my farming supplies there. And I guess I'll, I'll probably keep putting weed out here keep tossing chickens we got a little more weed over here and then as we go around this is one that i haven't done a damn thing with i'm thinking wildflowers i'm thinking we fill it with wildflowers but it does have hmm it does have this so it might be good to have this look sort of rocky actually that's a neat idea we don't have anything rocky in here what if we just made a sort of rocky cove anyway this one's a pond Got um, vines growing from above, and in place of the lily pads I still haven't found as we haven't got to a swamp biome, we're using these. And then this, this is a winter one. This is reminiscent of what's above us. We got snow, we got spruce trees, we got rivers, and uh, some white flowers that look lovely next to the snow. And then this one, ferns and purple wildflowers. I think it looks pretty sweet. Uh, and come back around here to where I used to have my bed and we still got all our storage. Just grass, just a little grassland. Uh, and here, growing some, um, sugar cane. So the idea isn't for this to, oh, ferns right here, which is cool. The idea isn't for this to be a, it isn't for this to be a farm. It's for this to be a, a place where nature is worshipped and protected. I've also gone and done this, guys. This is like a... A culvert leads outside. It's still a work in progress. I think I'm going to move my bed down here. This actually opens up into the river and under the ice, which I'm not going out there because, hey, let me back inside because I'll probably drown because I'll be under the ice. Uh, so why don't we get to work decking one of these out? I'm going to see, why don't I head over to my stash of gear and we'll see if we have any smooth stone. And if we don't, we'll cook some up and then maybe we'll start turning that area over there into, like I was talking about, a little rocky gorge. It'll be cool. I know I must have smooth stone. If not, we'll cook some up, like I said. 
Yeah, I don't see any. Okay. Oh, wait, wait, maybe it's in there. Yes, it is in there. Okay, I was thinking ahead. I'll take all this. All right, then let's um, get to work. I hope, yep, brand new shovel. We're good to go. Now, where is that one that I've yet to uh, decorate? Um, you guys, I'm proud of you. You're starting to starting to be the, the apples of my eye and starting to uh, take after me. I know in this series, I'm a perfectionist and uh, a builder, decorator, whatever. Uh, I really like to make my builds look great, and I love to focus on building. And now you guys in the comments are starting to go, hey, how come you haven't done this yet? That looks kind of shitty. Get to work. And Arn, or he, to be fair, he said it a lot nicer than that looks shitty. But Arn, or Aaron, uh, from Ireland, who's been a longtime viewer and subscriber, was saying, the tree above here, you need to landscape around that. And you know what? The more that I think about it, I don't think I'm going to. Arn, I love your suggestion, but I think the idea is that out there above where it's snowy and dark is in stark contrast to inside here where it's lit up and warm and green and lush. Like I want it to be, I want it to be, I want the outside not to give any hints as to how cool the inside is going to end up looking. Is this a boring way to do this? I got to mix some stuff in there. Yeah, we can't just do this with smooth stone. What are we, a bunch of rank amateurs? Let's step it up. Let's get some gravel. Let's get some andesite or whatever the hell you call it. And we'll, uh, we'll add a little variety here. Wrong chest. Uh, diorite, I'll take a bit of that. Andesite, take a bit of that. I'll say even take a bit of cobble. And you get some gravel over here. I'm so, I never have gravel. What are you? You're gravel. Sweet. All right, let's fill the hot bar. Get all this other crap off the hot bar. Um, I spent a lot of time in this world last week, guys. Uh, a lot of time. And it's because uh, I'd stopped playing uh, my, my, uh, my newest series, which was uh, Flame in the Flood. Uh, I'd taken a break from that. Man, eh, not a break. It's kind of gone. It's just not that many of you guys were watching, and I'd rather make videos that you guys are going to eagerly consume. And if you're not you know, going nuts for a series, too bad. It's not sticking around. We're going to going to shake it up. Uh, so that's what we got going on. The one game that I was planning on adding to the, the rotation was Planet Coaster. And I just released the first video of that today, the day I'm recording this. Yesterday, I think, for you guys. And um, uh, and I hadn't had a chance to start playing Planet Coaster yet. Uh, and Ark, which is the other series we got on the go, my server was down. It just went offline. It came back up, as you could tell from yesterday's video. But um, it... Uh, it's, that was stressing me out because I thought if this server goes away, damn, this series will be gone. I'll need to think of something new to do, something to shake it up for you guys. Um, but luckily, it didn't come to that. And with, with you know, with no third game to play and with the server down, I was kind of limited for options. So I just played a f ton of Minecraft. I played Minecraft all day, all night, and you guys got a whole bunch of videos. Actually, I kind of took it easy last week. I kind of didn't put out that many videos probably should have put out more but uh, it was just a busy week between Easter I had family visiting all that kind of stuff and besides I'm not a full-time youtuber there's 350 subscribers on this channel and 20 or so regular everyday viewers uh, maybe f even less than that and uh, and so when life gets busy I I'll just take a break I'll just take a little time off I'm not afraid to do that it's, it's uh, it definitely uh, is required sometimes. You need, you know, you can't. Uh, my goal for this year for. Tw what the hell noise was that? What the hell? I'm gonna have to wreck some face. Somebody trying to break down my doors? Where are you at, you zombie SOB? Right here. Nope. Where are you? I should see his arms sticking through, shouldn't I? Alright, let's flank him. Get flanked. Who is making all this racket? I'm gonna, well, goddamn creeper idiot still out here. I just put all my, my bow off my hotbar too. What a, what a crap, I'm so bad at this. I wanted to record an episode of building, of decorating the inside of this landscaping, and now I'm out here fighting creepers and tracking down loud ass zombies. Get wrecked, fool. I'm gonna one, one swipe you right now. Get wrecked. All right, where's your idiot friend who's thumping at my door like the loudest moron on the planet? Oh, he's dead. That's his meat. And sadly, though, the creeper, he ain't dead. Get wrecked. Get destroyed. Get obliterated. Okay, 
Cool. Let's get back to work. I'm tired of these interruptions and distractions. Where were we? Somewhere over here, I think. Yeah, this is it. Cool. Um, so yeah, when, when life gets really busy for me, guys, I'm not afraid to take a little time off. That's not a big deal for me. Uh, my goal was to produce daily videos in 2016, and or to produce 365 videos in 2016. I was never under the illusion that I'd be perfect and I'd never miss a day, but just by the end of the year, have made as many videos as there are days in the year. That was my goal. And we're, I think, still on that track. I'll probably have to pick up my pace a little after that lazy-ass week I had last week, but... Other than that, I mean, things going well on this channel. New people tuning in, and I'm actually working my butt off talking to, to uh, other YouTubers about collaborations. We're thinking, uh, I don't like this. What's that? I forget what that one's called. Granite. Um, I'm talking to other YouTubers about uh, playing on an ARC server. A couple of different groups of people that I've been talking to this week, and that's got me excited. Um, and, uh, oh, yeah, actually, this is... It's starting to look pretty good. I'm going to mess you up, though. Uh, and uh, new people tuning in. And guess what? We now got Minecraft building with UTC, a little arc, and a little planet coaster all on the go, which is pretty exciting. Uh, life is good. And life is good if your name is UTC. I like it. I've been connecting with a lot of cool YouTubers of late and really enjoying what I'm doing. I mentioned it in the last video, guys. I am lucky that I get to do what I get to do, that I get to spend my free time doing this, that I don't have to work 80 hours a week to pay my bills. Life's pretty good for me. Um, so here we go. I think once I get a silk touch pick, maybe we'll grab more ores and sprinkle them in throughout here so it's not just this iron and this coal. But until I have that, this might be all right. Uh, what else do you see in those? Uh, I guess I could... I guess I could add a little bit of greenery. Let's head over to the, the chests, which are, I get so lost in here. I think they're this way. <laughs> yeah, I used to know my way around in here, but now that it's all full of just greenery, it's a pain. Uh, okay, somewhere here, yes, leaves. I think we'll go with some birch and we'll see how that looks in this biome. I know how it looks in this biome, it looks pretty good. Those are birch, I think. We'll find out in a sec. Uh, but yeah, we'll just add a, maybe a couple little pockets of greenery. Actually, maybe I'll do some recessed lighting. Something really simple like, you know, you throw a torch down here, right? And then you just birch it over top. That's all right. And maybe I'll just do... Uh, yeah, that looks okay. That looks all right. Uh, and throw one more down there. This is going to be cool. This is going to be distinctly different from the other little mini biomes I've been building here. So maybe put it like that. I like it. I like it. And we'll do one more little thing of recessed lighting if, if you guys are cool with it. Uh, put you here and you here, here, and here. Make it look like vines. Although if I go any higher, yeah, let's not do that. Let's do that. I kind of like it. And then we'll just throw in a little that doesn't have lights hidden behind it for a little little spice, little little added value. All right, that looks cool. All right, guys, this is the first of uh, two that we're going to be doing today. Oh, yeah, here's the thing I was going to show you. I take all my eggs, and if I have spare eggs now that my chicken coop's full, I just fling them, and boom, you get a chicken. Guys, watch this commercial, and I will be right back. Yeah, this tree may need a bit of work. It's supposed to be the altar in the center. Maybe if I raise the whole thing up, Maybe if I took everything that's here and instead of being, you know, built into the floor, make it into like a table. I don't know. We'll see. The idea was for it to be an altar underneath this giant tree where uh, light can come down and the people of Hollow Grove can worship. That's what I was thinking. Get this cool little bridge here. I forgot to show you that. And then um, we got this one little area left. I'm going to do some work on it. Right before the break, I had a one for one egg into a chicken toss. So let's try again. Nope. 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 Okay, cool. Yeah, it seems like it's... Oh, here's another one. Let's take another freebie. Let's take another shot. Hit me with your best shot. Fire away. Nope. Okay, cool. Well, I think this area, guys, this is the one that I decked out, or that I, I set aside as being for wildflowers. Now, plan A, come through and uh, bone meal the hell out of it. I love to bone meal this, this stuff. It just, it makes it look so much... Here, let's put a little right there. It just... It, 
I mean, you can overdo it for sure, but it makes it look, I'm not, there's no way to overdo it. I can't overdo it. You could, you could overdo it, but I have a, a prodigious use of this. That looks pretty good. Now, the thing is, we're not going to go with the flowers that you see here. I think we're going to go with the all red flowers. So I'm going to bang out these little yellow daisies, whatever you call them, and we'll come through and we'll put down a couple of uh, the other red ones. These, I got the double talls, whatever you call them. Those look all right. And I think we should add a little water to this as well, if I'm not crazy. Uh, let's, let's put the pick in the hand, and let's put a little dirt down here. I want to inset this one um, like that. And let's plant you right there. Okay, that looks cool. That looks cool. And then um, water-wise, I mean, I don't want to get it too... I don't want to get it too wet because uh, this culvert, whatever, this big wooden pipe over here definitely leads straight out into the uh, river. And I want to keep the river as the river, and I don't want water flowing from one to the other. So we'll just do the basics, and we'll make just a mini water fixture here, and then we'll keep going with um, the wildflowers. I took that trip out to the wildflower island last episode, guys. It was fun to do some exploring. You won't see a ton of that in this series, but I should have... We're just going to do this slow and steady because I don't want to get my pick out again. I know it would have been faster, but who cares? All right, there we go. And uh, let's fill this with water. I brought a bucket. Yes, I did bring a bucket. Okay. And, oh, oh, I forgot about that. Okay, let's go get a little more water. I forgot how buckets work. <laughs> Idiot, I need two buckets. Uh, will we get some open water? Yes, we do. You just need, I think you need two, and then you can create the infinite source from which you can kind of keep drawing. That's the idea. Yeah, so this is the area Arn was talking about. He wanted us to landscape a little bit around this. He said it looked pretty bleak, but I'm thinking that's the idea. I want it to be bleak so that you have no idea of the lush glory that's hiding beneath this botanical garden temple, whatever you want to call it. Uh, so lost. Okay, where were we working? Near this. Uh... Over here? Over here. Yes. So easy to get lost. What a doofus I am. Alright. What? Oh, that's so annoying. Okay. And we need more water still. Two is supposed to create the infinite source, unless I'm a moron. Why do these chickens keep dying in this doorway? I keep finding chicken meat and feathers there. It's insane. Alright. Take that. And if this doesn't work, I don't know what to do. Maybe I tried to put it right where the other bl water block was. I don't know. We'll see. Uh, I would also... I'm teasing getting onto a, a server for Minecraft. Or for Ark. I'd love to get on one for Minecraft. I've been watching a lot of YouTubers who are on big Minecraft servers of late. And I'm just jealous of the camaraderie. When I play this game, I play it solo. I mean, you guys are here. You're keeping me company. But in general, I'm always alone. And I would I would love to have a, you know be able to build with somebody. Explore with somebody. Uh... Go caving through dungeons, whatever, with somebody. Um, I've actually found a dungeon in this world. So at some point in the near future, we're going to make a grinder. We're going to make an XP grinder where I go in and turn that that dungeon that spawns creeps into a into like a, a farm for experience. All right, that looks all right. We need definitely more of these little flowers. I got none of them around, um, and definitely around this thing. Okay. Uh, this might be starting to look good. I think we need a little more bone meal up in this hood over here. And here. And here. Fine, you can't overdo it. <laughs> uh, and put you uh, there. I like it. I like how this is starting to look. We need more bone meal. More bone meal. Yep. Okay. Uh, maybe one more of the talls. Right. Mm, that's not where I meant to put it, but that'll work. What do we think? Uh, needs more. Needs more of the tall ones. Definitely does. Because two is just not enough. There. Let's go back up. Take a look at this thing. There you go. And one more. One more somewhere. Yeah. There you go. I like it. I like it. Okay. Uh, what's left? Oh, yes. I know exactly what's left, guys. And this will bring us home on the episode. It's pumpkins. I think we got to get... Some pumpkins growing in here. I know I mentioned not wanting this to be a food place, but the pumpkin is the essential food source of Hollow Grove, and uh, that's actually not going to work, is it? 
I think it needs a block next to it. Let's put a dirt block right there. Um, uh, I mentioned uh, Hollow Grove. Uh, that's the village built nearby. And their main food source is this, pumpkin pie, because they grow sugar cane, which we already got growing here, um, eggs from chickens, which we already got all over the place, and pumpkins. I think if they'd have a temple, it would, it would worship the pumpkin to some degree, if not just the tree. Uh, so we need a few of these around. And what am I doing? We, this is Minecraft 1.9. You can dual fist everything and anything. Pumpkin's going to be strictly along the perimeter here. I think that's the right spot to do it too. Because uh, they're going to, once they start popping in, they're going to look great. They're going to add a lot of real depth to this. I mean, I'm already loving the way this place looks. I wish these chickens stayed babies forever. That's the only thing. The baby chickens are so much cuter than the full size ones. Maybe that's the key. I'll just keep killing them when they turn full size. Yes. I'll keep killing full-size chickens. No, I don't want to put one there, do I? No, you'll just go away with time. Put one there. Yeah. Uh, yeah, keep killing the big ones and then just keep turning their eggs into little ones. I think that's the genius way to do things. Uh, where are my torches at? There you go. And we're almost... Have we gone all the way around? Almost. Dang. There we go. Do, uh... Where did I start this? Doesn't matter. We're almost at the end. Put you there. Uh, you there. And I'll only do it on this raised bit, too. That's what I'm thinking. Um, so maybe one there. I think we might have gone all the way around this thing. Yes, we have. Okay, cool. Well, guys, that might do it for another episode of Building with UTC. Coming at you from the Hollow Grove Church. It's starting to look pretty damn awesome. The Hollow Hill of Hollow Grove. We still need a name for this. Hit me up. What are you guys doing? Oh, pumpkin seeds? Oh, cute. Cute! We got an army of chicken followers. Geeks, thank you so much for checking out this episode of Building with UTC, where we decked out the interior of this Hollow Grove temple. I'm loving it. I got an army of chicken followers. And I will, me and these chicken followers will be back with you guys with another episode in just a couple of days. And stay tuned to my channel for some Planet Coaster and Ark coming up in the next little while as well. Love you guys and I will see you in the next episode.